the Silver Flyer and my most epic unboxing ever. Today, you're going to see over 1,230 ounces of silver come out of the boxes, as well as three new uh, ounces of gold coming into to, uh, my stack. There's going to be some premium stuff and a lot of bullion in there. Uh, in previous videos, we covered uh, three ounces of gold pandas in various sizes and uh, 10 ounces of silver pandas that I brought back in from China recently. Also, uh, if you do buy pandas and you're interested in buying pandas, um, this is a fake panda. I reviewed it in an earlier video. I want to thank my girlfriend, Miss Silverflyer, for finding this on the internet and providing it to me. We only paid four bucks for this, so um, I want to show you how to spot this and uh, not get ripped off. Uh, in here also I've got some local coin store pickups, so let's get started. I'll start off with the small stuff and then we'll work our way into the larger boxes. Get right into it here. We'll start with the local coin shop pickups because they're already out, out of the packages. Picked up two Roman denarius. They were just too beautiful to pass up, about 1800 years old, out of the George Cook collection. And I got a little knocked off the price when I bought some other items I'll show you shortly. Really nice. Johnson Matthew bar, 10 ounce silver, a lot of toning. Added that to the buy. Probably the most interesting thing I picked up was this. This is Canadian mint. Last year from uh, 2018, 100 years since the end of the First World War. Uh, it's uh, fine silver, ounce and a half. And it is a three dimensional coin, believe it or not of a Brody helmet. I think in the States you call that the Doughboy helmet. Anyways, $25 coin, Canadian Mint, pretty cool. So I might do a video on that, more information and in something else. And when I, I almost walked away from this because he won $60 last minute with the other stuff, offered it to me for 30 bucks, or I'd say about what, 22, $22 US. So that's sterling silver, 38 and a half grams, still a little bit over an ounce of silver at a pretty good price. Next, we'll get into the packages and start opening them up. I've been waiting three and a half months to start opening these up, so let's just get into them. We'll start opening up some packages here and see what I've got. Probably almost forget some of this. I'm not even sure what half this stuff is anymore. Silver Shield, all right. I like some of their stuff. Ah, let's start off with a beautiful woman. One of the rounds, uh, I, I just kind of like the uh, artwork on it. Um, I'm not gonna pull it out right now. You know what the back of the Silver Shield usually looks like. They do some pretty nice stuff. Um, it's a numbered coin. I think this one's 621 of 920. So nice find there, put that aside. Moving on, what do we have here? Nicely wrapped. Oh, this is from, I believe his name, uh, what's his name? He's a really good, David Sager, an eBay dealer from Hollywood. He's really good to do with if you're, especially if you're Canadian, he knows how to work the NAFTA so you're not paying any tax. And he has lots of different stuff. So what's this one? This is a Britannia. I don't have any, so I had to buy one. So there's your Britannia. I'm sure you've all seen this before. Nothing real special. And over here, oh, Year of the Pig. This is also from, uh, I believe this one is Australian. Um, I bought this, I'll probably be giving this to my niece who was just born a few months ago. I bought her a couple coins to get her stack started early. And oh, this one here, the Fiji, which I thought was really cool. Now, I don't know if you can see that wave breaking there. Just a really unique coin. Uh, I found it really attractive, not too expensive. So uh, I th thought I'd add it to the stack. And I like to combine shipping with him, which he's good with. I think I've got another one of, uh, yep, same same dealer. Like I said, I like this guy's store, online store. So he has a lot of really unique stuff and uh, he knows how to do business. Combines shipping, he takes care of the NAFTA so you're not paying taxes if you're from Canada, as I am. 
Yep, there's his cards. A little plug for him. Good for you. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't have a lot of Eagles, but there was a first strike uh, MS-70, and the price was pretty reasonable. So, yep, I thought I'd add that to the stack. I don't have a lot of slab coins, but why not? Okay, another Fiji dollar. What's this one? Oh, the mermaid. Okay, that was a really cool piece of art as well. So I'll get a quick uh, picture of these at the end of the video and go over some of this stuff here. We're just gonna get into the bags here. Oh, London, uh, Tower of London. Sorry, Big Ben. That's Big Ben, not Tower of London. British Pound. Um, pretty neat artwork and I really do like, uh, I've been there and I really do like the city. Thought it was a really attractive piece to grab. Moving on, let's get some more stuff open here. What do we have here? Okay, this is from a coin shop not too far, a couple hours from my house. And he had some stuff I hadn't seen elsewhere. So you have, uh, this is Virgin Islands. And uh, I thought a really cool piece of art on there. Next was uh, the Korean coin, which uh, is really beautiful. You know, there's a little piece of tape on the back, but really beautiful coins from Korea. I think my girlfriend will be getting this one here. She really likes Korean culture. So uh, I might have to give this one up as much as I like it. Maybe go into her stack. She's got a small stack starting. This one she probably won't get, although it is from Russia, her home country. Uh, it's, I think it was Russian 1992, 1993. Um, I just didn't have anything from Russia. This was on the, on the store's website, so I thought I'd get something. I think it has something to do with their national ballet, the Russian ballet. Um, anyways, just a pretty cool coin. Thought I'd add that to the stack, but I'll be keeping that dear, sorry. All right, what do we have here? Oh, I don't think I know what these are here. These are from Silver Gold Bowl. They had a really good deal. Um, one time buy only, and I've done, a, I've done thousands of dollars of business with them before I'd run into this deal. And I uh, thought I'd get myself a, one of their own bars. I believe it's at Spot. It was at Spot when uh, Spot was around $15 or so. Really beautiful bar. And uh, because it was such a good deal, I told my mother to buy one as well. And uh, she ended up giving it to me. So there's the 10 ounce silver gold bowl. It's uh, made for them by Sunshine Mint. Really beautiful bar. And uh, I don't think you can go wrong. It's a well-known uh, uh, dealer. I guess well enough know known that they have Sunshine Mint printing bars or stamping bars. So this will be the same one. The exact same coin in here. Sorry bar, not coin. So I ended up getting, my mother gave me, well, it was around my birthday when I told her to order it, so she ended up just giving it to me, which is really nice of her, but I wanted to try and get her into stacking too, at least a little bit. Everyone should have some, not rely on me to have the stack when shit hits the fan. Anyways, I guess they give you their little chocolate there, the little golden chocolate. I'll enjoy that later. And another one of their beautiful 10 ounce bars. Happy to put these into the stack. So if you go on, they, uh, they have a store and outlet in the United States as well. First time uh, from your address, you can order one of these and you get it at current spot price. So I'd say go check them out. I've probably done up to, I don't know, at least $15,000 US worth of business with them. And uh, they're a pretty good dealer. So um, yeah, go check their stuff out. They've got a wide variety of stuff. But who doesn't like spot silver, right? 
Okay, let's move on to the box. The part I've been waiting for for a very long time, the wall of boxes here. Awesome. First, I'm gonna start off with this one here. This is from Canadian Mint. I made an order there, I can't remember, but a month and a bit ago, and it finally showed up. So this is the Juno Beach, starting off with the Juno Beach Memorial Coin. And that's the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. The Juno Beach was the beach the Canadians in particular landed on. So on those cards here, I bought two of them. So I'm giving a friend of mine one of these. So they're silver coins. I think they're only about 20, I don't know what, they're only about eight grams. Uh, they're only small silver coins, but really cool. I think there's a larger version, which I will probably find next week. So pretty nice. Uh, a bunch of their literature in here, whatnot, not so interesting. And what else do we have? So again, Canadian Mint, and this is also a commemorative coin of the D-Day landings. And on here is a piece of art, and it's a famous piece of art. It's from a photograph. It was taken of a guy putting his hand on the shoulder of a friend just about to run off the landing craft there. Uh, it's a pretty cool photo, and uh, they did a pretty good job of uh, recreating it. I'm going to have a hard time pulling it out of this. Oh, wait, there's a little thumb hole there. Let's have a look at it. So you got the queen on it as usual. And uh, there's the art here. I'm going to bring it up in a little bit closer. So there's an actual photograph of this. Um, you can find it on the website uh, or on Go you can just Google it and find it, the Canadian beach landings. And uh, yeah, pretty cool coin. I'm not sure how many of these were made. Uh, 75th anniversary. Anyways, I'll probably review that some other time. So, moving along here. What do we have here? So, Atmex, all right. Atmex, and uh, they do ship to Canada. And you can give them specific instructions, I'll add into another video, what to phrase on the receipt and on the packaging so that you don't get uh, taxed. Because we don't pay taxes for silver or gold in Canada. So nor should we if we buy it from the United States under NAFTA. What do we have here? Oh yeah, this is cool. I'm so happy to see this. This is from my girlfriend. We're, we're talking one day and she said, you're like Scrooge McDuck. It's her nickname for me. You like to swim, you'd like, love to swim in the swimming pools full of uh, gold coins. And she's absolutely right. So I Googled it and sure enough, it's a newie, New Zealand made. Scrooge McDuck, one ounce coin, $250 face value, I believe. Yep, $250. And uh, actually a pretty cool coin. A little bit more on the premium, but you know what? After we talked about it, I just had to have this. Scrooge McDuck is awesome. I even want to find a couple of his old uh, comic books. Really cool, really cool. She's going to be happy to see that. All right, so what else do we have here? We'll put the Atmex aside. The box is over here. This one seems pretty light. I'm not sure what this one. Oh yeah, I think I know what this one is. How do we get into it? Let's just cut. one's from I believe where are they from I think he's from Oklahoma or something like that free will bullion had a really cool round and I just had to have it I think they're fairly limited uh, it's a, I know it's a mini minted 
And there weren't a lot of these, and he actually told me this is the first one he knows of that ended up in Canada. So I was quite honored. Really nice guy to do business with. He hadn't really shipped anything to Canada before, so we ironed it out. And uh, again, I didn't have to pay any taxes because he put the right phrase phraseology on the shipping and on the declaration. So I ended up getting it without the tax, as I should. I don't believe paying tax on money is really uh, is really fair. Really well packaged here. I think there's just two rounds in here. One's a proof round, and one's a standard round. They're pretty reasonably priced. I'm sure the prices on them will go up. That's not really why I bought it. You buy things sometimes because you like them. I mean, I buy a lot of bullion, so sometimes you have to buy something just because you like it. All right. Come in there, free will bullion, little envelope. Let's see what we've got here. All right. And she is beautiful. Okay, so yeah, this is, I'll have to get this off later. Anyway, it's got a piece of foam stuck to the back of the capsule. But you can see a really beautiful piece of art. And, uh, Looks like sort of the love child, peace ch uh, hippie of the 1960s and 70s. There's what it reminds me of. That was pretty cool. They do make, a, I think, a one-tenth ounce. Um, oh, and here's, this is just the standard round. So you have your proof in the capsule and the round in just the flex seal. One's a lot cheaper than the other, but I wanted to see the difference and I thought I'd have one to hang on to or collect maybe one to sell down the road if they ever go up. And there's their logo on the back. You can see it. Really cool rounds. So two of those. I thought they were a little bit unique. Let's get some garbage off here. And get into some big boxes. This is where we're gonna put the weight on here. I'll do a summary right at the end there just to show you what I've put together here, how many ounces and whatnot. We all, as stackers, we all love numbers, right? This is from a business I do a lot, uh, a lot of business with here near me in Toronto, Guildhall. They also do uh, international business. They've got a lot of international customers. And this was an order when spot was below $15. So I got 10 random 10 ounce bars. So I'm not sure what I've got there. NTR, 10, two 10 ounce NTRs, Republic Metals. Uh, looks like the, what is this here? I recognize this. This is a U.S. mint, made in the U.S.A. Ten ounce bar. I'll have to look up what that is, even is. Pretty cool though. <laughs> Go a couple more NTRs. Another NTR. I guess I had a lot of NTR in stock. Don't care though. Uh, Republic Metals again. And up. Oh, Two more. So it looks like uh, three or four Republic medals. Uh, five of the NTR. So I got four Republic medals, five of the NTRs, and uh, one here. And you guys can help me out with this. Let me know in the comments. But I can look it up easily enough. I'll find it on one of the websites. But all. Uh, really good price. That's when Spot, like I said, was underneath uh, $15. So I was happy to pick up a couple uh, 200 ounces. So also in here, and this is the older style Royal Canadian Mint 100 ounce bar. I'm actually pretty happy to have one of the older styles. I've got a couple of the newer style ones downstairs. Really nice. Okay, let's move ahead here. We're getting heavy box. So I'll tell you, I already know what's in here. I think you see me moving some weight around here, so you probably know what's in here also. 
This is a monster box. I bought two monster boxes with this order, or in the last several months. Uh, first one is maples. So you got, uh, pull this out here carefully, I'll dig my table up. All right, monster box number one. So, of course, it's not going to be opened. I'll just check on the side here. It's still sealed. So I've been told that they're best to leave them sealed. Uh, 2019, so it's all this year's monster box. And for the last and final, again, another monster box. I picked this one up uh, in person. So that's why it's not sealed on the top. But I left it in the box. I carried it out in for privacy. And in here... This is also from Guildhall. I got two ounces uh, Canadian mint bars, one ounce bars in the packages. I don't have a lot of bars. I've got mostly coins. So I added a couple bars to the stack, cut down on the price a little bit. The prices were starting to rise, but I didn't do too badly. They gave me some swag here, obviously one of their free pens and a monster box. Uh, 10 ounce Canadian mint bars So these were just running out of stock actually and I'm told uh, they're in demand at the moment because the mint has run out The suppliers have run out uh, They're waiting for more from the mint. So I was pretty lucky to get that when I did so we'll do a quick overview here in just a moment This has been like Christmas for me. Thanks guys for joining me had a lot of fun opening this in summary as we all love numbers here in stacking we just opened up 1,255 ounces of silver and 6.1 ounces of gold. That includes everything I brought back from China. And uh, what I've left in China also, another couple ounces of gold and uh, several ounces of silver. I've effectively over doubled my stack in the past three or four months. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, I have some great videos coming up, including uh, moving your RSPs over into non-fiat, actual physical silver and gold. So if you'd be interested in some of that, please uh, follow the channel and also for future unboxings. Thank you for joining me. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.